Hi and welcome primary sensory learners to your home learning pack called Seasons Pack 1. Your activity one is to take a walk outside exploring gardens and parks near you and collecting autumn leaves. I want you to throw the leaves up in the air, I want you to jump in them crispy, listening to the sounds that you make. Bring some leaves home because you're going to need them for some more activities, but have fun jumping in those leaves. The second activity is using those leaves to sort them by size and colour. Can you make a rainbow? Can you start with the dark red leaves, moving into the orange, then the yellow and then the green? I wonder why the leaves change colour in the autumn. The third activity, using those leaves again, is to make a hedgehog. Now in the pack there's a photograph of a lovely hedgehog and the leaves are, are its spikes and prickles. Can you make a hedgehog and then take a photo of it? Activity four is about fine motor skills. So we're looking at threading leaves using pipe cleaners or skewers or twigs. There's some really lovely ideas of mobiles and hanging uh, pegs on a line with different leaves, different activities that you can do in the pack. Mm. Activity five is making a bit of a mud kitchen. So using a big bowl, fill it with water and then put some of the leaves and twigs and conkers and acorns and anything that you found out on your walk inside. I wonder what's going to happen to the water. Does it change colour? What's going to float? What's going to sink? What, the, what do the animals like eating? What are you going to make? Who are you going to cook it for? Have fun. The sixth activity is to create a collage. So you can make lots and lots of lovely leaves and twigs and make glue out of flour and water and, and add all of your pictures to a lovely piece of paper. You can use crayons to colour in the background if you want to. Could be abstract or could be the first sound of your name. Lesson seven is to go on another walk and explore. You're going to go on a treasure hunt. So there's a list in the pack of lots of things that you can look for, like a red leaf, pine needles, a rock, a feather. Can you collect all of those things and bring them home? Or even just tick them off when you see them. Activity eight is another messy or not messy activity. It's about pumpkins. So you can get a pumpkin, scoop it out and create a mess free pumpkin sensory bag by putting all the seeds into a Ziploc bag so you can touch and play with them and you won't get dirty. Or you can put everything in a big tray and get messy and dirty. Think about what it feels like. What does it smell like? Do people cook with them? The ninth activity is a bit of artwork. So using your hand and some paint, you can paint your hand brown and put it on some paper and it looks a bit like a tree. So you can do that four times and then wash your hands. And then using different colors, you can put your finger in some paint. So for example, if you're going to make a spring tree, put your finger in the green paint and you can dab the green leaves in on. Um, if it's going to be winter, wash your hands, put your finger in white paint and you can create snow. The tenth activity is all about snow and ice. So you're going to get some ice and you're going to put some toys inside it. Well, you're not going to get ice, you're going to get, you're going to get water first. You're going to put toys inside then put it in the freezer so it can freeze. Then you can have a look getting the creature out of the ice, feeling it melting on your hands. What does it feel like? Activity 11 is about making a bird feeder to help encourage wildlife come into your garden. So you need something like an empty milk um, bottle or carton where you can cut out parts of it and you could put some seeds inside 
uh, you can decorate the windows that you're making and then you can hang it from a tree um, outside or you can make some fat balls for your bird feeder and actually activity 12 is exactly that it's all about making some fat balls for birds to hang upside down in a cup into the winter so have a look at that and, and then you can enjoy looking at more wildlife so there you go there's your sensory learning pack thank you